Andes with Prop 215, what that was designed to do. Um, in 1996, Proposition 215 allowed legitimate patients to have a, uh, that have a recommendation from their physician to not be prosecuted against uh, possessing, transporting, cultivating uh, uh, medical cannabis for their own medical conditions. And, and I think a lot of our viewers will recall, this was really a campaign, uh, it was a Compassionate Use Act, I think that's the name of, of the proposition. A, a lot of AIDS patients at the time, cancer patients going through chemotherapy, marijuana was seen as something that would help their appetite. It, it, does the federal government have a point now, though? We hear, I, I mean, it's not uncommon to hear how easy it is to get a medical marijuana card for, for other things now, like insomnia or anxiety. Do they have a point? Does Laura Duffy have, Duffy have a point to say some of these places may not be as legitimate or maybe they're not providing the same function that they were originally intended for? Well, you know, in 2003, when Senate Bill 420 passed in the California State Legislature, we saw a lot more clarification about what Proposition 215 created. Um, uh, since then, we've had the Attorney General create guidelines, an actual roadmap that talks about patients being able to collectively cultivate medical marijuana together uh, to provide for each other, and that collectives are merely, or merely organizations that facilitate transactions between members. So, in fact, dispensaries are legal. In fact, patients can congregate and associate together, whether it is through a storefront or a delivery method or whatever that may be. Not everyone can cultivate their medicine. And with regards to the actual uh, conditions uh, that patients are using it for, I, I really believe that that should be something that is between a doctor um, and the patient themselves. We see abuses in the pharmaceutical industry every single day, and abuses need to be addressed by the medical department, by um, the doctors themselves. But it doesn't mean you shut down everyone. Absolutely. There's legitimate need right here in San Diego, and we saw studies coming out of UCSD and Dr. Grant's uh, research program that show that nothing on the market helps patients with multiple sclerosis better than smoked cannabis. Uh, you mentioned the Attorney General in California. I want to read a statement uh, that her office has issued with regard to the federal crackdown. She says, Californians overwhelmingly support the compassionate use of medical marijuana for the ill. We should all be troubled, however, by the proliferation of gangs and criminal enterprises that seek to exploit this law, law by illegally cultivating and trafficking marijuana. While there are definite ambiguities in state law that must be resolved either by the state legislature or the courts, an overly broad federal enforcement campaign will make it more difficult for legitimate patients to access physician-recommended medicine in California. So, Eugene, is that happening now? What, what is happening with people who want to get medical marijuana, but this crackdown has happened? Are they still able to, to get access to this? What we're seeing is uh, an overstepping of their authority uh, by the federal government. The California Attorney General, um, uh, at the time, General uh, Attorney General Brown, uh, created clear guidelines, and Kamala Harris, our new Attorney General, came out in clear support of patients who legitimately use this medicine. And uh, if we have the federal government stop putting pressure on cities and municipalities locally, then we see that regulations are created and crafted that protect the communities, that prevent this trafficking that um, uh, and other concerns that, that communities may have. We'll let people at home know, too, that we did invite Laura Duffy to be here. Her office says that she cannot comment on this, obviously, because it will be before the courts. Uh, last question, Eugene. What are people doing now in San Diego County who have these medical marijuana cards but perhaps are having a tough time finding a, a location, a dispensary that's still open? Um, they're, they're, unfortunately, patients are starting to turn uh, to uh, alternative means. And when we see dispensaries closing down in communities, we see crime going up. When we have safe, legitimate access for patients, we see crime going down. In fact, in San Diego, the statistics show that crime has gone down since dispensaries have opened. Eugene Davidovich, thanks for being here. Thank you very much, Jenna.